Hello, this is Ms. Barnacle, and today we're going to be working on problem solving skills. So I'm going to work a problem up on the board for you. But before we do that, there are a couple of things that you need to know. And those things would be, here is an example of a word problem. Um, problem solving is mainly about, can you read the problem and interpret what they want you to find? So the most important thing is being able to read the problem and knowing what it is, the information you know, and the information that you're trying to find out. So if you look at this, it says we're going to get some new equipment, computers, and printers. And it wants you to find the total cost, meaning I want the total from the computers and the printers all added together. So there are a couple of steps that you do. You have to understand what information is given first. They give you the price of the computer. They give you the price of the printer. And they also tell you how many of each we are getting. Okay, and then it wants to know what are you trying to find out? What is the total cost of our purchase? Next, remember what the word total means. Total means to add everything together. When it says each, that means to multiply. So if you see this worked out, it says there are the number of computers multiplied by how much they are, the number of printers multiplied by how much they are, and then it adds those two totals together to get $14,754. When you are done doing that, to check and see if your results are reasonable, you could do rounding or estimating to make sure that your answer is close to what the estimate is to make sure that you did it correct. Now I'm going to work a problem on the board, which is this one right here. So let me change to the whiteboard. And it asks us to do two things. First, it asks us to find the perimeter. Well, in order to do that, you have to remember what the word perimeter means. We did that on adding, and perimeter means to add the sides together. So for perimeter, we're going to add. And the other part says find the area. The area was when we did multiplication of whole numbers. So area means to multiply. So let's do part A first. Part A says to add together. Well, a rectangle opposite sides are equal. So if the bottom is 150, the top is 150. If the right side is 100, the left side is 100. And then to do perimeter, all you do is add the four sides together. So that would be 100 plus 100 plus 150 plus 150. And when you add those together, you get 300 plus 200, which is a total of 500. And because we are going to label our answer, it's 500 feet for the perimeter. So the answer to part A is 500 feet. Okay, now we want to do multiplication. We want to do area. Area is length times width. So we need to know that. Area is equal to length times width of a rectangle. So our two measurements are 150 times 100. And when we do this, we can use the shortcut for multiplication because we are using zeros. So we do 15 times 1 is 15. And since there are a total of three zeros in our digits, our numbers, we add 1, 2, three zeros to the end of 15, and that makes 15,000, and area is measured in square units, so that is square feet. When we want to check our answer to make sure it is reasonable, you could round the 150 up to 200 and use that to get a reasonable answer to find out that we did do it correctly. And that's all I have for problem solving. Next up, exponents.